Welcome back, everybody. So, I decided to do hard mode. You know what? You might as well. Obviously, agility perk gonna be picked first. That is an essential, honestly. Um, so right about here, I got a terrible spawn. I think that is a spewer down there. So I'm just going to swap to regular- Yep, that's a spewer. So I need to use Genesis weapons, which is really annoying. So the key to doing hard mode is essentially using your Genesis weapons efficiently. Obviously, there aren't too many, and we need to conserve until we get to level 30 in the reputation, where you can then unlock the one that can be repaired with energy cells. But until that point, you gotta use a lot of guns. Yes, a lot of guns. And terrible, terrible spawn. We get another spewer. There goes my armor, so yeah, this is not gonna be pretty. So unfortunately, I need to waste a lot of Genesis guns for these first two sort of rooms area in A1 because there's a group next right here, and if there's a spewer in there, that's just no fun. Yeah, it'll add a lot of unnecessary pain. Right there, as you can see, there is a spewer, so unfortunately I need to use Genesis weapons to kill that spewer as soon as possible, just to in hopes of preserving my armor. The spewer is still alive, so unfortunately I do need to waste more Genesis weapons. Yet another hit right there. That's painful. At least, at least later on in the clips, trust me, I learn. But, we officially open this chest, and right there, that loot, discs. Discs are the absolute best hard mode item. Essentially think of them as the notebook of the lab. They're the go-to item. They give 15 points, they give a ton of rep, and yeah. So we can draw this sort of group out, none of that. So in reality, I should not be using Genesis weapons on either of these. I learn a little bit. And then Shambler right over here. With the Shambler, I do get kind of lazy. I do try to experiment and use like the VSS, but as you can see, it does one damage. <laughs> So let's just fast forward to the end of this. Yet again, another group of zombies. I'm still wasting Genesis weapons. This pains me watching back because I know in the future I'm going to need these Genesis weapons. The key to doing it is to essentially use the Genesis weapons on the bosses. No! No! Right there we get to almost the first wall tricking spot. Nice try Acid Melter, not today, hiding behind that wall. Acid Melter comes around. Nice try, Screamer, I'm going to take that Acid Melter out with the Genesis weapons. And right here I'm just going to start a timer. Let's see exactly how long it will take me to kill this one Screamer. How long is it going to take? Leave your guesses in the comments below. The reason why I leave this clip going on for such a long time is I just kind of wanted to bring a little bit of perspective. I know it's a little bit boring but I want to bring some sort of perspective to show you how long it takes to punch them to death. spears and eventually eventually I just gave up and started using Genesis weapons but again ZD that is not the way to go you really need to learn at least you do later on in the clips as you'll see so next group of zombies I'm going to need a Genesis weapon for this because it's a group of zombies I need to take out the quick okay slasher scientist and then by that last blob okay in reality I shouldn't be using Genesis weapons here either you can see that first little like doorway is the first spot I would be wall tricking in get one zombie to follow you 
and then wall trick the other one right here we get another screamer and i try to wall trick and yeah it doesn't really work so go over here oh there we go now it does work weird okay so um yeah i guess i'll swap to machete does one damage machete also does one damage in reality i should just try This doorway is not good for fist wall tricking. Fortunately, I have the agility skill, so it makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, literally just going to whittle it down with fists. Little more, little more, little more. Let's keep it going, just a little more. I'm not kidding, a good like 15 minutes of this clip is literally me punching this thing to death. Here, I'll cut it off at like 10, so it's not an absolutely boring video, but you could totally see, I sat there and punched this I feel like it's necessary for me to issue some very quick corrections. First off, I am wasting Genesis weapons. I'm well aware, you don't need to flame me in the comments. Gradually, I learn, and after all, this is the first sector I've done. This is the first part I started editing. So yeah, you can kind of see it's a little rough, and you can definitely see how it gets more refined in some of these other videos that I did, technically because I edited these out of order. But I promise you, A2 will be better edited, A2 will be better commentated. Okay, no acid melter here, so in reality, I should just stop using these Genesis weapons and just punch this thing to death too. But honestly, after punching that screamer to death for 15 minutes, yeah, kind of getting tired of it. And I guess GG well played right there, LDOE. Gonna cut off that arm and maybe, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna wall trick. Nice try, LDOE. I'm not gonna use these Genesis weapons. I will actually just be a little bit smart with it. Let's go. One. One, one. Oh, right here I need to go through this next door. And I'm really hoping, uh, and of course it's the acid melter. Uh, of course it hits. That's absolutely brilliant. So I need to use these Genesis weapons because it's a horde and there's an acid melter. So the goal is to kill the acid melter. And what I ideally should have is a gas mask. So then I can essentially just wall trick this zombie to death. Nice try acid melter, not today. I feel like they're a lot more aggressive now. Nice try again. Not today. Nice try again. Not a chance, Acid Melter. I am done being hit with that. Uh, okay, not gonna attack, so I can just finish that off. Ooh, nice, drop something, actually. So, Spore Spreader right here. I really should have a gas mask with me, and then I could just punch it to death. But, since I'm feeling a little lazy... Nice card. So, there's one more room down here. Um, Necrotic Hybrid I'll get back to in a second. I think that's the pass perk right there. Oh, I have this last room. I might need a Genesis weapon. Quite annoyingly, A1 probably... Okay. Narrowly dodged that acid melter. Nice try. So there's officially one more room. I'm gonna wait till that thing expires. Technically, I could finish off this sector right here, but I believe there's like a 90% chance there's a chest in that last room. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to end up opening it. Just gonna open up this terminal to give myself a little bit more room, because I don't like running that much. And, uh, brilliant welcome. Nearly dodged that. Okay. Acid Melter, you gotta die. This floor ridiculously requires a crazy amount of Genesis guns. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way around that. I think you need to kill the acid melters as quick as possible. They will absolutely shred your armor if you let them. So take that thing out really quick. Uh, spore spreader, I contemplate here just letting it whittle down. Punch, nope. Punch, nope. Okay, you know what? I guess I am punching it to death. Well, okay, um, yeah. I speed that up because that would make a very boring video, I guess, if I just sort of played the full-on clips of me punching zombies. It's literally a good 15 minutes of this clip. I'm sitting here looking at my timeline. 15 minutes of punching that zombie. Please tell me there's a chest. Okay, good. There's a chest in that room. Good. So, hopefully, I've heard chests give much better stuff. And I feel like that's the case, especially going through the entirety of the lab now. And then with regard to the necrotic hybrid. 